We're waiting for you. Did you know that 31% of all adults in America have some sort of anxiety disorder? This doesn't even include children, which is at a whopping 12%. Anxiety ranges from barely noticing to full-blown stop you in your tracks, both physically and emotionally. The five most common types are generalized anxiety disorder, disorder GAD, post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, and panic disorder, and social anxiety. Generalized anxiety disorder is most common among adults. When a person has GAD, they worry a lot more, but there is usually no reason for worrying. To summarize an article written in John Hopkins Medicine, generalized anxiety develops because a person cannot cope internally with stress. Researchers have shown that there are certain areas in the brain that control a person's fear and anxiety, but it has also been documented that certain medical conditions can cause anxiety such as hyper thyroidism due to an increase in hormones. While GAD typically is most common in women, it has been found to run in families, both male and female. GAD has been observed to start as young as adults, as young as children, or as soon as adolescents. One of the side effects of generalized anxiety is that an individual can become depressed. Anxiety causes some people to bite their fingernails, twist their hair, or shake their foot. Other common sy symptoms include trouble falling asleep or staying asleep, trembling, twitching, tense muscles, and headaches, irritability, sweating, and hot flashes. While these are just a few signs of anxiety, there are many more depending on that individual. There are different ways of elevating GAD depending on the person and their needs. A holistic approach of treatment would be relaxation techniques, coping skills, Making lifestyle changes in order to reduce stress, from a clinical standpoint, there is counseling and medication. Another idea to help reduce GAD is quit smoking using illicit drugs and or alcohol. While smoking, drugs, or alcohol can cause GAD, a traumatic event can cause post-traumatic stress disorder or commonly known as PTSD. PTSD can coincide with general anxiety disorder. PTSD is developed when a person experiences a shocking, scary, or dangerous event. This disorder is most widely experienced. This disorder is most widely known in combat veterans, but can also develop in people that were physically or se sexually assaulted, abused, or when an accident or disaster happens. It is natural to be afraid in a distressing situation. Humans have a natural fear reflex with the response of fight or flight. In PTSD, it can cripple a person to freeze or hide in a traumatic situation and can interfere with one's daily life. The sad part is that PTSD is more common than one might think. According to the Natural, Natural Center for PTSD, a program of U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, about 6 out of every 100 people will experience PTSD at some point in their lives. Symptoms must be severe enough and hinder daily life for longer than one month in order to be diagnosed correctly. Symptoms must not be related to medication or other illnesses or substance use. Treatment can consist of psychotherapy, medication, or combinations of both. There are different types of psychotherapy available to individuals. These include exposure therapy or cognitive restructuring. Exposure therapy is when a person is exposed to their fear in a safe way, learning to manage its aftermath while cognitive restructuring is where a person learns to make sense of a traumatic event. While all of this is important to one's recovery, one of the most important parts is having support from family and friends. With all this together, a person can recover within six months to a year. Another type of anxiety is called obsessive compulsive disorder or widely known as OCD. A person is not born with OCD but can genetic tendencies evolving towards the disorder. OCD is long-lasting, in which a experience, person experiences uncontrollable obsessions. These obsessions can be characterized by repeating thoughts, urges, or mental images. These images can be intrusive, unwanted, and make most people feel anxious. The most common obsession is fear of germs, leaving a person to wash their hands multiple times a day. 
Some have to have everything symmetrical, placing items in a certain order. OCD and assist symptoms can be very time consuming and can interfere with daily life. How does a person realize they have OCD? People with OCD generally cannot control their obsessions or compulsions even when they know it's excessive. Spending an hour a day on an obsession or compulsion can gain an individual temporary relief, but they do not receive any pleasure from the action. OCD is most commonly diagnosed as young adult. OCD can either slowly go away over time or the symptoms can get worse. While symptoms can be treated with medication, psychotherapy, or a combination of treatment, OCD itself cannot be cured. While a person with OCD prefers everything in its place, an individual, individual with social anxiety wants to stay out of view. Social anxiety has an intense, persistent fear of being watched. It is an all-consuming feeling as if they are cert constantly judged by others. Social anxiety not only affects the person, but it also has an impact on the individual's work, school, and day-to-day -day life. This fear can be so extreme to the point that it's beyond an individual's control. Social anxiety makes it hard to make friend, make and keep friends. Social anxiety is portray, portrayed as a deep shyness in children. We usually have a fear of going to school or out in public. As time goes on, the therapist realizes the child has social anxiety. This type of anxiety affects females more than males. It has also been known to run in families. When an individual realizes they have problem, a problem in the social atmosphere, there are several options for treatment. These include psychotherapy, medication, or a mixture of both. Psychotherapy branches out to different aspects of treatment. One of the most common ways to treat social anxiety is cognitive behavioral therapy. This is where a therapist teaches you different ways of thinking, behaving, or reacting in a situation that will help you be less anxious or fearful. Another psychotherapy that can help is acceptance and commitment therapy. This type of therapy teaches an individual to use strategies such as mindfulness and goal setting to help reduce discomfort and anxiety in a situation. Another way of tackling social anxiety is with support groups. While this may at first be hard for an individual, it is a controlled setting, helps with, in, with the issues. Working towards the same goals can help alleviate a person's feeling of isolation. Stability, complete and utter sense of fear. Why? What is it? What causes it? Panic attacks. Panic attacks is an individual that is most frightening experience and unpredictable underpred feeling a person can have in their life. Panic attacks and panic disorders can creep into every aspect of a person's life. When an individual faces a panic attack, they experience severe physical symptoms, feelings of suffocation, rapid heartbeat, or chest pain. One might say it feels like a heart attack. In order to avoid having a panic attack, some people will change their entire lifestyle. And as much, a person will no longer go out of the house, avoid places that are noisy or crowded, bright colors or lights can also trigger a panic attack. Researchers have found that several parts of the brain play a factor in fear and anxiety. Usually symptoms of panic attacks start in late teens or early childhood. It has been found to run in families and is most common in women. Now, while this disorder can shake up a person's entire life, most people don't get help. Why, you may ask? Sadly, there is a shortage of trained therapists and therapists that are available are cost prohibitive. Shame also plays a big factor in it too. If a person decides they need help, there are a few options for them, such as psychotherapy, medication, or both. Anxiety has a way of affecting a person in their way of life. It can take away their ability to live normally like other people. The sad fact is it also affects family members. Whether you have generalized anxiety, having to take medication, or learning how to handle it on your own, a full out panic attack, which limits what you can do, anxiety can be a cripple, crippling disease.